It has come to the time for me to endorse some guilt-free binge watching of TV. Never thought it would come to this. Back when I was a kid in seventh grade, they didn't have such thing as uh, fast forward. VCRs didn't even exist. So you couldn't watch things back to back. You had to suffer for the week long delay and you had to endure uh, all the commercials and advertisements. But nonetheless, back in the 1970s, Franco Zeffirelli, an Italian movie director, came up with this miniseries was Jesus of Nazareth that was put on the TV for a number of uh, days for a, a given week. And I remember being quite impressed with this. This was a star-studded cast, and the character of Jesus was played by a British actor named Robert Powell. And I remember being impressed with the whole story. It seemed like it made the Gospels come alive. And it didn't seem to bother me as a seventh grader that Jesus had clear blue eyes and spoke with a British accent. As time has gone on, I think I've kind of been a little bit more critical of the Jesus of Nazareth because Jesus is portrayed as an individual that seems almost otherworldly. He always has this distant stare, um, and besides doing some miracles, doesn't necessarily have a lot of personal connection with people. So that's not what I'm recommending you binge watch. You can watch it if you like. What I'm recommending that you binge watch is The Chosen, which is a uh, process, uh, new movie project. They have one year of seasons or episodes, or eight episodes in the first year, and they're hoping to do multiple years uh, to fill out all the different stories uh, that are available in the Gospels. The difference between The Chosen, uh, this approach, and The Jesus of Nazareth is the character development that is done in The Chosen. There's a lot of time spent trying to help us understand who these characters are that are going to be the disciples, the apostles, the followers of Jesus, as well as Jesus himself. And it is in understanding who Jesus selects and their lives that they live, it helps us to realize that these were very real people. They might have lived a lot 2,000 years ago, but they're very real just like us. The other thing is that Jesus seems to be an individual that despite being able to perform miracles, is somebody that you really want to hang around with. He seems like a nice guy, somebody that you would actually want to be with even if he wasn't performing miracles and promising eternal redemption. It seems that Jesus is fully human, meaning that he's doing everything right in terms of what our conscience would tell us to do as good people, independent of his being the Son of God. So I hope you will watch these shows and, like me, kind of be hooked on it and look forward to the future episodes that this company will produce in the future. It's kind of a uh, crowdfunded, pay-it-forward type of thing, and their main goal is not about making money for their own pockets. It's really about making a very good product that can be put out there as an evangelization tool. The goal is to get everyone to have a better personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I kind of like the character of Jesus that is portrayed in this, uh, this, this program. And I believe that they've done their homework to make sure that they're not heretical in any context. But they take some liberties to kind of explore the various characters to put real people in situations where they encounter Christ. That's kind of what we're all about. So my hope is that you watch these. Um, you can do it on YouTube, and I will put a link in our description as to how to find that. And it's also available on an app, an app uh, through the Chosen website, and I'll put in a link for that as well. Starting in September, we're going to put in weekly um, reflection questions that we've kind of pulled from a daily devotional that's available uh, for people that are going through the Chosen program. And the hope is that you can kind of use these reflection questions not only in your private prayer life, but also to kind of prompt you to carry on the conversation with those that are around you. So uh, this is a program that is going to be family friendly. It may not be uh, done at a level of small children, but if a seventh grader can be impressed with the Jesus of Nazareth, who's to say that the children of your family aren't going to be quite impressed and 40 years from now be talking about the chosen and how it affects them. So tune in and enjoy.